2014 brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm Lorraine, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, joined by... Blake Garris, and we are joined by the cast and co-creator of sure. The Heart She Holler. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, first off, for fans who aren't aware of The Heart She Holler, it's one of my favorite shows, which they wouldn't be aware about because I didn't tell anybody that. But it, you're it's part your of secret. PFR. It's your secret favorite show. PFR is the greatest production company oh, in the world. Thank you. You did Wonder Shows in. Correct. You've done what else? Uh, yeah. Xavier Renegade right. Angel, Delocated. Oh, Delocated's yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell the fans who aren't aware about uh, the Heart She Holler. The Heart She Holler is Scott. Can oh. I do it? <laughs> I have something to tell you, Scott. Oh. <laughs> um, Marvelized it's, history. It's a, uh, imagine if you went back home to see your family. You know, that, you know that hatred you have when you go back? <laughs> if that was on televised screen and it just happened to be Southern, you know, that's, that's what it's like, the experience. You know, it's not literal, but there's a lot of guts and blood. It's what you mm -hmm. want to happen when you visit your family. Oh, and I gotta yeah. say, I'm Southern. You can tell my accent. Yeah, I'm yeah. not offended by the show. I love it. I don't think it's offensive no. in any way. It's great. And no. Pat Oswalt's involved, who's a part of the Marvel family as well. Um, yeah. what, what, what are you doing here at the con? What am I panel. doing here? A panel. <laughs> what are you doing here? You can't, you can't, you can't muck. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Yeah. What's the, the show doing at the... Oh, are um, any there's or? a third... Oh, I don't know which panels I'm doing. There's a third season coming up, December 1st. And uh, I, I'm trying to spread the mystery that someone in the cast will die this season. Someone Ooh. very big and important. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're both, we're looking oh, at you, Judith. Look. <laughs> <God. laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. Promoting the new season, season three. And we are doing a panel today. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. At what, 6.30? I don't know. 5.30? So soon. Line up now. Soon. Yeah, 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 soon. <laughs> soon. In a couple hours. And of course, guys, if you have questions, you can tweet them to us and hashtag MarvelNYCC, and we'll answer them live right here on the air. What made you both want to be interested in, in being on the show in the first oh, place? Oh, I love Mimo. I've done it for the three seasons. I just really love her. She's a great, she's a great feminist of all time. <laughs> <laughs> if you think of it, she's just going on and living and living and living and doing it. And I just joined the cast this season, yeah. and uh, I always loved the show, and, and Wonder Shows and is a great seminal force in my life, so uh, any opportunity to work with John, I jumped yeah. at it. Yeah. And, yes. we, and we threw you right yes. into the show this season. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was no acclamation for Scott. Yeah, it was deep day, end right day, away. Day one, you were covered in pubic hair and being puppeted, <laughs> right? And, yeah. And, <laughs> and that was in the voice booth. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that, was uh, just, that was just rehearsal. <laughs> exactly. You can see that working with these guys is pretty great. Yeah. So I have to say right. that. You guys have so many great comedians. Are you guys able to improvise a fair amount? Uh, we don't have the time to improvise, really, right? It's, yeah. I, I, people have asked if the show's improvised, which I take as a compliment, because it's impossible. We just, yeah. you know. It's also a very technical show because there's yeah. a lot of special effects, and, uh, sure. and comedy often is very precise, and I think that's what these guys are doing. They're writing very precise dialogue that is really funny because it is poured over and, and manipulated and we're lucky to have it. So we don't try to screw it up by <laughs> extending it or changing it. Right. Uh, but I must say Amy Sedaris is really good at making your dialogue better. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's a force. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does yeah. she make you guys cupcakes? I know she's really into baking. No, she's, she's a... In crafts. She's, she right. is. She's kind of this great uh, supporter of everybody. She watches all the other Aww. takes and cheers people on. It's really yeah. endearing and sweet. Yeah. And it's, I think, the world she likes which is wearing all kinds of makeup to hide who she is, <laughs> and then it's just dirty poop jokes. You know? like, and it's not just dirty poop jokes. Right. It's, That's just it's, the, it's the thing we say, it's not fart humor, it's fart drama. That's what we <laughs> Can I get that on a t-shirt? Yes. Um, <laughs> Sophia, who's been watching with us, uh, has a great question. How did you guys come up with the idea for the show? Um, it all actually started from this one sort of vision Vern and I had, which is, if you were had to pull the cord on one of your parents, uh, who would you choose? And it didn't matter for us, it's both. Uh, but we started to pull the, we imagined pulling the plug, and this, if the plug never pulled out, and that was, that, and that's actually in the show, that's in the first season, but that was sort of the thing where we're like, oh, this could be a television show, just this endless, 
you know, becomes guts and of course we never did it, but it was supposed to become uh, rainbow handkerchiefs and then a <laughs> bouquet of flowers at the end, but that's too that's too cheap. <laughs> so what have been some of your favorite moments uh, from the show that you've gotten to work on thus far for the new season you that you can share? I know you don't want to give away too much. Oh, there is a, John was describing a scene where uh, Amy Sedaris's pubic hair has grown <laughs> Uh, to the point where, and this is all live action, by the way. Um, <laughs> her pubic hair grows uh, so uh, enormously that it leaves her house and grows along the streets and finds me in my office and then picks me up and... Uh, it, yeah, it marionettes me around town and makes me a better sheriff and a better husband. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you should be. And no one really notices. Yeah, no, no one else notices. Why would they? But I am up on this rig being puppeted by this uh, pubic hair, a lot of pubic hair. It really, it took them a long time to, to gather it. Yeah. And put it together. We, we, use the, we use the real thing. We use yeah. the, Mostly that's Judas's. Important. No, I was just thinking, it makes me think of Amy on that time when I was dead or dying, oh, or right. son, and she's on my stomach, and yeah, she's on my, fondling me. <laughs> and it was very hard not to, you know, to not laugh. I just remember that. It yeah. just, she then, she was so funny. Yeah. So funny. It was very, very sexy. <laughs> it, wa it was. It was. Yeah. It was, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't, it's true. Is, is that a weird conversation to have with a prop, or like a prop master? Like, so this no, week it's more weird to, to have with my care oh. puppet. It's more weird to have with my parents. Oh, are they the prop masters on the show? <laughs> they should be. That'd be great. <laughs> you get a whole oh, family of here. No, no. We we pick all our friends, and they've worked with us since Wonder Shows, and basically. The, the Jason um, it, has worked with us. He was an art PA since Wonder Shows, and so he's excited. They get really excited. We're like, oh, we need a bloody gut videotape that can crawl around. And they're like, great, finally we get to build something and not just do, like, ATMs for commercials. Like, very subtle, just tedious soul-destroying things like that. <laughs> but this is like, they're inspired. And they it's great to walk into the, uh, the sound stage, thank you, because uh, along the prop wall, you'll see like 30 Patton Oswalt heads. Yeah. yeah. Or 100 uh, of those uh, talking fish yeah. plaques. <laughs> or, or sheets of pubic hair. Just like. With my name on it. <laughs> it sounds so romantic. Yes. Okay, we're, we're just about out of time, but where can they find the show and you guys online? I, we're throwing it in the Hudson. In the Hudson. Yeah, yeah, we made it. Go it's right all there. the masters are going right into the water. <laughs> That's the best. We want it to be legendary. But how about on TV? I don't have a TV. I don't. Oh, okay. No, it's, it'll be on Adult Swim, uh, uh, December first, twelve thirty, twelve thirty. Yeah, and it's every night. It shows like a like a real soap opera. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, an episode a oh, night. Awesome. Yeah. So great. Well, stick around for more on Marvel Live. We'll be back soon, guys. Hey, everybody. This is Blake.